morning. Hello, it is slack pack day number one with our friend Cheryl. There's her car right back there. We are on the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is bringing back all kinds of memories. Exactly one year ago, I was doing my Blue Ridge Parkway tour on my RV and hiking this portion of the AT just for fun because I thought I'd never get a chance to through hike, so I'm just gonna hike the AT whenever I can. <laughs> and now here I am. So we got dropped off here at Mill, was it Mills Gap is where we're at, Mills Gap. And there's Stan the Man, and Detour's already on the trail. And we are doing 20 miles back into Daleville today. A lot of elevation change, gains and losses, but we're mostly going downhill. And we, when we get towards Daleville, it's gonna be a very steep downhill for several miles. How are you doing, Stan the Man? I'm doing great. How are you this morning? <laughs> I'm fabulous. Oh, and I'm actually, I'm even doggy free today. Look, no Ooh. Zobie. No Zobie. Neither one of us have him, although he has... No one's going to watch this video. He now. has... He... <laughs> You're right. People only watch it for Zobie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't even get him being grumpy this morning. I should have got him yogiing for your blueberry muffins this morning. Yeah, yeah. He ate half least... of Stan's breakfast. He, he did. He did. He didn't eat any of mine. No. He ate all Stan's breakfast he ate this all morning. Mine. <laughs> it's all right. There's a couple muffins left. All right. I'll make sure I get some videos of you when we get back then. All right. Okay. All right. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. All right. We've gone like two feet and we're already <laughs> stopping for pictures of flowers because it's flowers and they're purple and I have not seen these exact flowers yet. Jesus. So I have to take a picture, of course, and so did Stan. Yep. Oh, oh, and we also realized. Stan, what day is it? It is Friday the bomb -bomb 13th. Friday the 13th. All right, hopefully nothing happens to us on the trail today. Somebody's going to be wearing like a Jason mask just for fun on the trail. I can feel it. All right, in the meantime, beautiful flowers. All right, we are at Peaks of Otter Overlook on the Blue Ridge Parkway. This was one of my favorite overlooks when I did the tour. Unfortunately, it's socked in. Ooh, it's maybe clearing up a bit over here. The clouds are parting slightly. It was all socked in when we walked down. But there's views on both sides, as you can see, from that side. Now I'm gonna scamper across the parkway. Oh yeah, it's clearing up a little bit. Darn it. This is a killer view here, because you look down into the valley and it's all socked in. But you know what? It's not raining and it was supposed to storm all day today and all day tomorrow. So I'll take it. We have our reindeer ready, but we're enjoying the sun that is breaking through the clouds right now. Look, I, <laughs> so funny, I wonder if I can find it. Here's the Peaks of Otter Overlook sign. And I took my sign, my picture beside this Appalachian Trail sign last year, because I hiked this little bit, <laughs> like maybe a mile or two in either direction of the AT right here. That's so cool. And now here I am as a through hiker. Never thought I would be able to do it. Love it. And here we go back into the woods off of Peaks of Otter from Blue Ridge Parkway. And we, Stan is now standing in front of the sign that I was trying to talk about. Go in front. <laughs> I just had him take a picture of me by the other AT sign and Let's just say he needs to work on his photography skills. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Actually, he's a really good photographer until you give him your camera instead of his. All right, that's what I wanted. That's all I wanted, the AT sign right there. I'm good. Honestly, we are not getting anywhere because look, the trail just covered. <laughs> and Stan, we're in trouble today. <laughs> we have <haven't... laughs> I don't think we've even gone like two tenths of a mile yet. <laughs> Look at all the flowers everywhere though. This is so beautiful. Oh, it's ever they're everywhere. They're all the way up the hillside. We're not getting anywhere today. All we're gonna do is take pictures of flowers. Look at all these flowers, Brutus! This is uh Detour's dog. Look! Look, Brutus, look at all the pretty flowers. I bet your mommy would love a picture of you in these pretty flowers. Do you, do you want a picture in the pretty flowers? Mom, I'll take one for your mommy. Okay, we've been walking for a little bit through our first patches of truly starting to bloom. Okay, get in focus. Mountain laurel. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. I cannot wait for all of it to be in bloom along with the roadies everywhere. Look how pretty it is. I say it looks like a wedding. It's like 
baby's breath littering the, oh, I'm gonna fall, littering the trail. It's everywhere right now. I'm so excited! I am too. I say it's beautiful. <laughs> It's bad for us on a 20 mile day. <laughs> because we've, you and I are two peas in a pod when it comes to this. We've stuff. gone like a mile. It's really sad. Yeah. <laughs> Between views and flowers, we're not going to get anywhere today. We're in trouble, people. We're in trouble. Come send rescue on the Blue yeah. Ridge Parkway. <laughs> I think we have our headlamp. Yeah, I know, for real. It oh, might it know. might be dark when we get in tonight. We have enough food. Zoby's going to be crossing his legs at the hotel. Oh. <laughs> So I just absolutely fell in love with the Blue Ridge Parkway last year when I traveled it. Took my RV, hopscotched all along the parkway from north to south, starting in Virginia and ending in North Carolina. I hiked this part of the AT. Here I am on the AT. There's supposed to be views right there. Again, I'm just thankful it's not actually raining, but darn it, we're missing our views along the parkway here. And one of the things that I loved about the parkway were all of the stone tunnels and bridges that make up the parkway. So here is the parkway above us as we are walking alongside it here on one of these brick walls. And when you're driving on the parkway, you go through these tunnels that are made like this and they get all mossy and flowers grow on them. And I have some beautiful pictures of um, azaleas growing around them and all that with views and just such a pretty, pretty area of Virginia. So if you ever get a chance to do the Blue Ridge Parkway or an AT through hike, you get to see all of this and hopefully your views won't be socked in. Here's our new view. <laughs> you know how I said I'm grateful it isn't raining? Well, it just started. Hawk migration. I think we're at Montvale Overlook. I'll have to look. I'm walking away from the AT to come look at this sign. But that's usually a beautiful view that we're not getting. And it is starting to sprinkle and mist. I'm gonna pull my umbrella out. I'm gonna wait a minute to put my actual rain gear on, see if it decides to let loose or not. It's actually supposed to storm. There we go. Nope, we're at Harvey's Knob Overlook. Montvale Overlook. Hi. Montvale Overlook, I think, is our next intersection with the Blue Ridge. And that's where originally, before Cheryl, a detour's friend who's slackpacking us, came into the picture um, as I was planning leaving Daleville and how many days between Daleville and our next stop, I had us camping at the Montvale Overlook. So I was excited to get there and see where we would have been camping and what views we would have had, if we can even see the views right now. Not sure how much I'm gonna be able to pull. Oh, I got a little bit of views, kind of, opening up over here. Not sure, sorry, just not sure um, how much I'm gonna be able to pull my phone out if it does start storming like it's supposed to. But just <laughs> through the clouds and the mist and the little bit of rain that's starting to fall. So, all right, I'm putting my phone away before it gets too wet. I'll see. There's flowers all along this section. So you know I'm happy. I got blooming flowers. I got a little bit of views through the clouds. And I got, there he comes, Stan the man. I'm stopping to take a million pictures. Here he's going to pop out on the trail any second. There he is. There he is. Just so I can stop and get a photo. The elusive creature of the Blue Ridge is emerging on the path. Stan the man. Woo! <laughs> yeah, the clouds have parted just enough to get a little bit of a view right here. Yep. I'm gonna stop and take it. I know you are. Because we don't get anywhere because we appreciate things. 100% <laughs> correct. Seriously though, I love the like moody effects you can get of the clouds like rolling across the mountains. They're not moving as fast as they were just a second ago, but that combined with flowers blooming all along the edge here. Look at this. It's like flowers and hillside views. More flowers. Flowers on this side. The parkway is above us. Right up here is the parkway. Look at all these flowers. Look at this. Gosh, I wish that the clouds were just a little bit higher. This still gives like this moody kind of ethereal effect with the clouds hanging low like that. And it's misting. It's so pretty. I know we got a hike, but I want to stop and enjoy this.
And look, Santa's too. <laughs> we have so many pictures of flowers, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Just took a selfie picture of myself with this AT sign and my, my uh, trekking poles leaning against it. And then I turned around and realized, look at what's on it. There's a furry little caterpillar on it. Is that a monarch caterpillar? No, I don't think so. I think monarchs have more orange in them. That'd be really cool if it was, wasn't it? Yep. I'm gonna have to search and see. So yay, there's my selfie with a caterpillar. <laughs> look, we have a view. Oh, there's detour. Detour? We caught her. Is this is this Montvale? I think this is where I had us camping tonight. This is Montvale, isn't it? This, yeah, this is where we were going to camp coming out of Daleville. With this view. This would have been nice. Picnic tables and trash cans and everything. Oh well, I'll take the slack back <laughs> instead of camping in the rain. There it is, Montvale View. Appalachian Trail, look at that. Chris crosses the Blue Ridge Parkway for 100 miles in Virginia. Further south, it winds through the Smoky Mountains. Yes, it does. <laughs> Very cool. All right, I'm gonna go have a snack with my friends. Look at this, we have views! I'm so excited! We were not supposed to have views today! It's supposed to be rainy and cloudy, and it's not! It's not even raining anymore. The misty, sprinkly rain that we were experiencing earlier has even gone away. Right, I'm gonna come down here with Santa's. I think he's got a better opening. Oh yes, much better opening down here. Stan always knows where the good shots are. He finds them. <laughs> oh, yes, there it is. That's what we were looking for. Love it. I'm so excited we have views. And it's not raining on us. We're not wet. Hi. I'm a very happy girl today. I have beautiful flowers everywhere with dew drops on them. We have views. I have good friends. We have easy terrain so far. And my feet don't hurt. <laughs> Yay! I have new shoes and new insoles so I can appreciate the views without worrying about my feet. Yay! And this is why I love the Blue Ridge Parkway. Here we are again. Views over there, which we'll go look at in a minute. And views over here, where Stan the Man is. Look at that. Look at the rhododendrons down there. Oh, Look at them all blooming. Oh my gosh, my phone's not capturing them as well. Look at all of them. Oh, so pretty. And the different shades of green and the spring colors. And there's the parkway. And then we got another view over here, which I'll show you in just a second. And here we are. Now look at that. And this is all the parkway is just beautiful overlooks everywhere and then you can pull off and hike the AT or a bunch of other hikes that come off of the parkway there's lots of waterfalls it's beautiful what's that Stan yes it's gorgeous come on over <laughs> see the AT hash mark right there yeah, I gotta wander off the AT a little bit sometimes. That's okay. To get a view. It's worth it. Oh, dang it, it's starting to sprinkle on me again. Go away, Rain, we're enjoying the views. This is what I've been waiting for. Going through a roadie tunnel, and they're blooming. I'm so excited. I gotta flip it around. Look at this. It's green and it's colorful. Flowers are blooming. It's gorgeous. Just surrounded by them everywhere. Even looking deep into the woods, you can see the color. So pretty. Love it. Oh, that's a beautiful bunch of them right there where you are. Is that the green tunnel? 
It's now we come to the purple channel. I like it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is. Look at this right here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, how can you not love this? Can't help it, I gotta do it. This little section with all of them, look with the dew drops on them. So pretty. It's just like boldly contrasting against the green of the mountains behind it. On this little curve right here, so pretty. Look at that. I get to enjoy this all day. I'm so lucky. I feel like I'm walking down the aisle at a wedding or something. <laughs> oh, so pretty. I just can't help it. I'm so crazy in love right now with these. Hanging over me, under me, all around me. I'm falling trying to video it because I'm not paying attention to where I'm going. I'm just looking at flowers everywhere. 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 I wanted to stay like this the whole rest of the way. <laughs> Look how green it is. Everything is so green and then you got these pops of color with the flowers blooming. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Alright, y'all already know that I love my little cascading areas of streams, but how much more do I love them when there are blooming roadies over them as well? And it's so pretty! Right, Stan? I say 100% correct to that. <laughs> I am going to start calling you 100% correct. <laughs> Uh, and we got them blooming right behind me right here too. I'm going to go take a picture from that angle as well. Love it. And we are getting somewhere because we are 9.2 miles into our hike. So we're close to halfway. What are you doing? You're going to go take a picture from over there, aren't you? <laughs> Careful. When the leaves are that deep, you never know what holes they're hiding. So please don't break your ankle. Stan's still taking pictures looking back on that area that we just crossed over right there. And it's still trickling, pretty little cascades all the way down the river as we continue going southbound <laughs> on our Sobo slack pack of the AT today. Pretty little area, especially with the roadies. Ooh, I am getting drippy eyes now. It has actually like been raining on us for a minute. Uh, it's kind of sort of stopped, but I think it's starting again. It's one of those like intermittent showers. Ooh, that looks good. Look at what you have here. Yeah, because we're slack packing. We brought heavy food. I guarantee you one thing. What's that? It's not as good as your Cuban. It is not as good as my Cuban. I have the second half of my Cuban sandwich from Three Little yeah. Pigs for lunch today. That would be good. But look, we got like fresh I banana. I got a banana. Let me see banana. There's your banana. We got cheese crackers. This crackers. is, is going to be my lunch tomorrow because I bought yep. this at Kroger too. When it's slack pack day, we pack it. We, we pack out the good stuff. Yep. <laughs> Oh, there comes more people. All, all the Nobos hate us right now. I yeah. don't blame them. I, I would too. <laughs> but look, we have right here by the river. Some little rushing waterfalls. Getting water. So, all right. Here we Let's go. Eat. Lunchtime. Hopefully it doesn't break open with the skies. Don't mm. break open on us is what I'm trying to say with my hiker brain. Mm -hmm. Hello. We are 12.7 miles into our 20 mile slack pack. It has been raining for about the last three or four miles pretty steadily. Just lightened up a little bit. Enough for me to feel comfortable to pull my phone out, even using the umbrella, so that hopefully it doesn't get wet and, and ruined. <laughs> um, the trail is starting to get pretty saturated. This section isn't too bad, but there's been some pretty muddy and puddly sections now. So it's just watching your step because everything becomes slippery. All these leaves and rocks and roots suddenly want to throw you on your butt. So taking it a little bit slower here the second half and uh, Definitely have lost any chance of views, I think, for the rest of the day now. This is what we're looking at. 
that's okay. There is a shower and a warm dry bed at the end of the day. And my baby boy to greet me. So I'm gonna put my phone back away in case it starts raining again. And talk to y'all later. I don't know if I can capture it. Oh, I don't know if it's getting it. But the sun is coming out and it is just glittering off of all of the wet leaves and the flowers as you walk down the trail. And see if I zoom out a little bit. It's like as you walk and you see it shining and reflecting off of all of these wet leaves and all of the raindrops that are hanging off of them. It's like, oh, <laughs> I don't kill myself. It's seriously like just walking through a path that's lined with diamonds. It's just glittering all around you. It's almost blinding in some areas. It's so pretty and I just don't think I'm capturing it. Oh, I wish I could get it better, but it is so beautiful. And look, it's starting to clear up over here and we get some views through the trees a little bit. Maybe it'll actually stay nice the rest of the day now. I don't know, I said uh, it's supposed to actually storm like all night. So I don't know why we're getting this little break right now with sunshine, but I will take it, especially since it's surrounding me with glittering diamonds as I walk down the trail. So pretty. Oh, and there's Stan. Are you getting the glittering diamonds on the trail? I, I was just about ready to think about doing that. Now the sun's like... <laughs> it's so pretty. I, know, I love it. I was like, I'm surrounded by glittering diamonds as I walk down the trail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I love that you can appreciate this stuff. Oh, I love, I love this stuff. It just it sticks out. Yeah. It really does. I was like, I, can, like, you not? I, was, I was like blinded by the yeah. sun hitting the, like reflecting off of the petals. Like, look, look at all the... Yeah. Look I at know. all the dewdrops on these leaves. Yep. The sun was hitting those and like sparkling like diamonds. It's it was. just it was beautiful. Just yeah. It really was. So pretty. Yep. <sighs> Love it. Hello. All right. So we have 3.4 miles to go and it is mostly down, but with a couple Virginia ups as Stan and I like to call them short, but steep ups thrown in there and the sun has come out it looks like to stay I hope it might rain later this evening but for now forecast looks clear and so hopefully rain won't slow us down because it is 423 and I wanted to get to the outfitters before they close at 6 which we should be able to do we stopped a lot, <laughs> we took a lot of pictures, enjoyed the flowers, slowed down a bit in the rain and thought, you know, for sure we'd be to the Outfitters before six, but now we're kind of racing a bit to make sure that we do get there before six. Um, I have um, new gaiters that I bought to, you know, they go over your shoes and ankles, up your calves a bit to protect from rocks and dirt getting in your shoes. And also this time of year protects against ticks and poison ivy and all kinds of other things. Um, so my gator broke, it's brand new. So I wanna return it and get another pair before we take off and move further north to our next location tomorrow. Um, so, and they also have, um, a bunch of a really good, uh, uh, I can talk, I promise. They have a really good assortment, is the word I was trying to spit out there, of um, freeze dried meals, a mountain house type of meals, and a good variety of those. And we are actually having to resupply now for after our next two days of slack packing when we do. Sorry, I'm, don't, I'm not even looking at what I'm filming, so I'm probably like doing a terrible job here. Um, yeah, for our next stretch after Glasgow. And we want to do resupply at Kroger because they actually have a really good selection. And also I wanted to get maybe one or two meals at the Outfitter. So another reason, I want to get there before they close. So should be able to do 3.4 miles in an hour and a half easily without racing, but still racing just to try. All right, I'm gonna shut up, put the phone down, and hike. Bye! All right, I've got 0.9 to go. It's 5.15, so should be able to make it before 6. Um, unfortunately, the outfitter isn't right at where the trail ends. Hello! 
but so I still have to walk another like I think point four or something like that to the outfitter. So gotta book it. Got one more stupid Virginia up ahead of me. But I did just take a picture. I forgot to pull my video out, but I did take a picture at the one third of the way to Katahdin sign. So that means we are actually over a third of the way to Katahdin because we did 20 miles beyond that today, or I guess 19 miles beyond that today. So, woohoo! One third of the way to Katahdin and then some. And busting my butt through this mud and these stupid steep ups. Oh, here comes my next up to get there before they close. Bye bye. I'm telling you, the last mile always seems to take the longest, or <laughs> feels like it anyway. But here we are, the final white blaze, the end of 20 miles, and I am back to the highway. This is the end, last white blaze. Now, hey, now I've got to go this way, like almost a half mile to the Outfitters. <laughs> Those are people, <laughs> that family I just saw there. They're all excited about taking steps on the AT. <laughs> so cute. All right, let's send it to the Outfitters. It, I don't even know what time it is. Just gotta go. All right, there it is. It is 541 and I am making it. <laughs> Whew, that was fun. <laughs> Quite literally ran down the road and I'm sprinting across the parking lot. But I am making it there before they close. I have no idea where Stan is on the trail behind me. He's probably still like two miles back there. <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday, May 14th, and day number 73 on the trail for me. And day number two of our slack packing adventure with Cheryl, Detour's friend, who is slack packing us three 20 mile days to get us from Daleville to Glasgow. So we are once again this morning slack packing Sobo. Uh, just under 20 miles, 19.8, um, along the Blue Ridge Parkway. I uh, just got dropped off at a stop on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I had to take a little blue blaze to the AT, and we just turned on to the AT. It has been raining, as you can tell from the misty fogginess enveloping the trail around me here. But it's not raining at the moment. So, sorry, poles just got stuck. So, uh, hoping that... The rains stay away, or at least the storms part of the rains stay away today, just like they did yesterday. Got rained on, but no storms, so we'll always take that. Um, ahead of me, way ahead of me, on the trail are Stan and Detour. They're just way faster than me over rocks, especially when they're wet. I go slower anyway to be careful, and I've um, been trying to go slower to preserve my feet slamming down on rocks brings out the pf plantar fasciitis pain made it to the outfitters last night and um got my new gaiters also picked up a few other things including some pf recovery socks to wear in the evenings they have special areas of compression to help circulate blood flow through the areas that need it and reduce swelling and it's supposed to help with the pain so wore them last night and honestly between that and those other things I bought that keep my feet in a flex position um when I woke up this morning for the first time in a long time I wasn't like <sighs> seriously I don't even know how else to explain it like I can't even stand up when I first wake up in the morning like I put my feet down and like just fall over like I have to like sit back down onto the edge of the bed and just slowly flex and roll my feet and put a little bit more weight and a little bit more weight on them until I can actually stand up and then walking the first several steps each morning has been like labor <laughs> um, and this morning wasn't like that so hopefully all of this is going to help truly put me on the road to actual recovery and not just 
you know, manage it, which if that's all I end up doing is just managing it, that's fine too. But I um, would like to actually recover from it, particularly before I have to climb rocks in Pennsylvania <laughs> and uh, New Hampshire. But back to today, we are hiking Sobo. Supposed to have views, but <laughs> we'll see what, what we have today for sure. And uh, then tomorrow is one more 20 mile, like just under 20 mile slack pack that will end at the James River footbridge and we'll be in Glasgow. So, oh, I do have, oh, I have the little man with me who sees Stan in front of him and is all excited. So he's trying to get me to go faster to meet up with Uncle Stan, who's just around the bend of that tree up there. I don't even know if you can see him in the fog. So, all right, little man's going with us. And I'll probably get another day off tomorrow. We're switching hotels today. And I didn't want to make Cheryl, um, Detour's friend, have to deal with my dog too. So, all right, see y'all later. I haven't seen one of these yet. I'm just trying to video it from far away so Zobie doesn't scare it away. I'm so excited, I haven't seen one of these yet. Okay, I'm gonna try to walk a little closer so we don't scare it. They come out when it's wet. Well, it is definitely wet. Hi, buddy. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him. Can I take him home? Yeah. He can just go in my pocket the whole rest of the way to Maine. Yeah, right? He's so cute. All right, I'm gonna try to get a picture now too. I guess I can just pull a picture from this yep. video like a little bit of these blooming flowers here and there we didn't know what they were so finally got an answer last night actually via Instagram and then Google to confirm these are called spider wolf flowers and when you Google it you get wolf spiders <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you put spider wolf flowers to get the correct uh, images to pop up um, and this is the biggest grouping of them that we've seen on the trail because oh hi here comes someone Hello. Hello. <laughs> so these are called what? Spider wolf? Spider wolf flowers. Spider wolf flowers. Yes. And if you Google them, wolf spiders. You get wolf out. spiders instead. Yeah. So make sure you put spider wolf flowers. Yeah. Yes. So beautiful. Then we got really our beautiful. dueling YouTubes going on here now. Yeah. But yeah, this is the biggest like grouping of them in bloom all at once that we've seen on the trail here as we walk along. All of these pink flowers are so beautiful enveloping us on both sides of the trail here thank you lovely spider wolves that are not actually eight-legged freaks that scare me to death there's one more before we move on bye pretty flowers you see that flower right there and there's another one right there and where'd the other one go that i just right had there. in my hand there's one right there and this one there's one Oh, here, one second, let me flip this over. There's one. What is that? <laughs> what tree did it fall off what? of? So we're underneath a tree with leaves that look like this. And they're all over the trail. And I saw them yesterday, but I was busting to get to the outfitters. See the leaves in parts of the trail, there's these like bright orange and green leaves just littering the trail from the flowers. Right, look. This one has that the one leaf has the on leaf it, on it. So we should be able to identify it's the, it. It's this one, isn't it? No. It's not? It's different? It's different. Oh, wait, that's more maple-y looking, but yeah. it's not a maple. Is it that one? Up there? I don't know. Where are you, flower? We want to know what tree this comes from and what flower that name is. Is it that one? There's, there's another one. There's one with it open. See, they're like bright, or, bright orange and lime green. And they're really pretty when they they're like in bloom and not sad on the ground and beat up and dirty. That one. That's a really <gasps> That's good That's a really one. good one. Okay, what is that? I'm going to take a picture of it and throw it in Google too. Okay. So nothing is better 11.6 miles into your hike than trail magic provided by <laughs> friends so stan helped hey. Ooh, hey guys it's okay come here Oakland. everybody's like right. this is my <laughs> yeah definitely so anyway stan helped out chit chat and dinner bell here on their 2020 through hike which you know think about that 2020 
and through hiking. So yeah. he was able to help them out in New York and PA. So they are returning the favor with all kinds. Oh, what is that? Lemon bars? I didn't see the lemon bars. <gasps> and Sour Patch Kids? Oh my God, I'm in heaven. I was just excited about cold Powerade and an apple, which I've already been oh, like gone into. Like Powerade. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys so much. This is awesome. Yeah. All right. So we just left our wonderful trail magic. Had to say goodbye, but I think we're gonna see them for dinner tonight. And now we are walking across the bridge, which is absolutely beautiful. Get all this lovely open sheer rock, which I absolutely love. It's got moss growing on it. And of course my favorite, little cascades in the river. So pretty. And yes, this is the AT we're on because there's our white blaze on the side of the road. <laughs> Gotta figure out where we get off of the road at now. The sun has finally broke through the clouds today, and we've got our first real view of the day. It's a nice one. It is a nice one. We're also getting closer to the parkway, which you can see actually right there cutting through the mountains. So we're going to be getting some good views when we end the day at the parkway. We have no water. We didn't realize this when we were with the folks for Trail Magic. Stupidly did not look ahead and realize we were about to go into an eight and a half mile stretch of no water. Even the shelter we just passed, there was a sign at the trailhead that said Cove Mountain Shelter has no water. Should have made us realize we were going into a stretch no of no water. water. And so I have like one little swig left. Stan's got maybe half a liter and we've got about four and a half miles to go. And poor Zobie's thirsty too. So, let's get this show on the road, Stan. Let's do it. Let's get out of here and get somewhere where there's some water. Yep. Should tell uh, your friends to meet us at Mill Gap with water or with Gatorade. Something, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah. 